Hey guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Hopefully you're doing good. It's midnight right now and I am uh, going to do a couple of videos. One is down, second one is going to be this list. So as you guys know, winter is coming to our country and I'm doing a lot of winter lists, fall lists, this and that. And I like to do every day, even if I'm well or not well. I'm currently recovering from, you know, some, you know, I'm going through some sickness once again, but uh, thanks so much for your prayers and good wishes. So today I have done the fragrance initial impression on Lamal Elixir. Please check that out. I'll upload it side by side with this particular episode, which is called, I think, 15 powerhouse fragrances for winter. Okay. This is my favorite genre. And I would like to say big thanks to Lex Ellis, uh, Greggy Boy, and Dan Norton. These reviewers, Matt, you know, Fragrance Matt, my fragrance guru and the fragrance guru. These guys uh, got me hooked to this powerhouse sort of uh, fragrances powerhouse basically to my knowledge to my humble understanding feels something that has animal it knows something it's really uh, not apologizing uh, fragrances which are uh, could be you know like oak moss uh, seaweed this and that so all this fragrance i'm going to show you today these are not everything i have i have a lot more powerhouses but i picked these for particular video today and uh, i would love to wear them in winter you can try them but make sure powerhouse fragrance are very very um you know uh, like how to say love it or hate it so it's uh, up to you if you get into this kind of genre or not but try them before you buy okay so these are very subjective fragrances so let's get into 15 i'm not going to explain so much on each they all have their specialty so do let me know which ones you like so i'd like to start with this uh, fragrance uh, from house of i think it's called elizabeth uh, taylor's and this is called passion for men okay this is a very old school fragrance this one if you know you know this one is very hard to find um i have a aftershave as well of this fragrance exact same smell it smells nice powdery again most of them they have certain things in common if you like fragrance like kuros or uh, you know i don't know uh, some of the other fragrances in this like ted lapidus you would like this but it's more wearable and i think there is a little bit of powdery touch some florals a lot of this fragrances from back in the time they don't smell like one note they're all mashed together so you pick up different things different times but really a uh, long lasting and beautiful fragrance elizabeth taylor's passion for men let me see how far i can put it okay there so number 14 uh some of you be like why this is uh here so these are not like in any order okay so don't don't mind the order next one's gonna be lapidus purum by ted lapidus Lapidus House, I reviewed, I think, uh, so far three fragrances. I had another one, the Black something, and then the, I still have Black Soul Imperial. I don't show that today. And I had another one, something of a golden bottle. But Lapidus, Purum, there's a sport version I'm looking for. No one could bring it for me, okay? But Lapidus, once again, they say, <laughs> look at the bottle. These bottles are nothing like these modern bottles. Uh, these look like, you know, I don't know, human centipede. If you know the movie, it reminds me of centipedes, right? Because of these lines. Or something like futuristic robots from you know back in the days you know like those arnold schwarzenegger movies or <laughs> back to the future it reminds me of those types of films i'm pretty sure all my gurus like Celis or fragrance matt they're gonna love this okay so lapidus purum there's apparently pineapple note which i never got but check this out if you love kuros and i have a lot of uh, bogart fragrance in this list today okay so number 13 i'm gonna go with this little beauty it's called gray flannel by jeffrey bean i was looking for this fragrance when i made like when i make 15 lists i look for fragrance which one should i put i look at different closets i look at different boxes and when i did 14 <laughs> when i got 14 uh, i was like okay i have missing one fragrance i couldn't remember so i'm like mm, there is something there back on my head then i realized this little baby is there this is very 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 old school very much like i think oak moss uh, or uh, there's a red wine accord and there's iris this fragrance when you smell it for the first time trust me you're gonna be scared okay but i fell in love with this i sold it off my older bottle then i got this this is a great fragrance for colder colder months gray flannel by jeffrey bean not gonna describe too much because i don't remember honestly speaking all the notes so uh next one <clears throat> we have about 12 left 15 for yeah number 12 let's go for a really posh fragrance which is i don't know hard to find now uh van cliff and arpo spuro i used to have sar and this one t-s-a-r and the uh, sar and this one i don't know why i sold off the sar you know when you are a rookie when you're in early days you make a lot of mistakes that was one of the mistakes i made 
Now I can't find sari anymore in Bangladesh. That one was a green kind of fragrance, nice masculine fragrance like, you know, YSL, Life Jazz. Okay. But this one, it's people say close to one Chanel fragrance, which I'll show in top five. Okay. But this is an excellent leather fragrance, which smells masculine. It's dark and it's long lasting. This is called Van Cleef and Arpels, Purom. Okay. Number 11. Number 11, we're going to go with one of my favorite fragrances, uh, Boucheron Purom by ja no not Jaipur this is Boucheron by Boucheron okay so this bottle is just drop dead gorgeous I just love it a little bit of uh, lemony opening and then it goes to mostly spices okay so spicy uh, it's not better than Jaipur Jaipur is more classy than this but this definitely reminds me of something like Pakuraban Purum Azaro Purum so if you like those citrusy openings like Dioru Savash kind of citrus but you want a little bit more oomph try it out and try definitely the EDP version which is longer lasting for winter Bushra and Purum EDP there you go so I think five are down now we hit top 10 so top 10 let's start with this Johnny Depp signature scent back in the days uh, I heard that okay Zeno Davidoff by Davidoff or Zeno by Davidoff so again this is not a um, vintage bottle there are older versions to this fragrance I never tried it okay honest confession but this one man uh, what a fragrance I have history with this fragrance, small history since I'm sharing stories. When I moved to Bangladesh, there's a shop called Starling and one of my dear friends, Shoikot Bhai, Shafi Bhai from Bangladesh, he's our ad page admin also now, one of my best friends. He said there's a page called Starling, you know, which sells many fragrances for very good pricing in Bangladesh and uh, this was one of the fragrances they had. The day I was supposed to go, the day before that, their shop went down in flames, okay. There's a huge fire in the market and they, all their fragrances were gone. And I could not buy Zeno Davidoff. This was the story. And much later, I got it from their shop. Very first bottle. This is my third or fourth bottle. So this one, in short, this is a very old fragrance. And it gets compared to Boudet Jour by Tom Ford, which is of better quality, more polished, and much more uh, luxurious. Uh, you know, you can say um, lavender and all that. But honestly speaking, when they hit the dry down, this one smells like the big daddy of <laughs> Boudet Jour. But Boudet Jour is more expensive. You can get this if you like that, okay? Zeno Davidoff, beautiful fragrance. but again for mature crowd number i don't know number nine nine yes number nine we're gonna go with one man show Oud edition i was the very first one to review on this i got this when i did not have any page no income nothing i had very little money you know i had the love for perfumes but i could not get expensive fragrances a lot so when i moved to bangladesh you know i was just having a, like a very nice winter that time in 2016 i have a story check out my review on this and see the date when i reviewed it after me, many of the reviewers reviewed it. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Very loud, sweet, fruity, embery kind of oud. The quality of this perfume, the longevity, you cannot get this longevity from $400 fragrances sometimes, okay? That is the specialty of Jacques Bogart. They give you cheap looking bottles, but the perfumes are pure gold. If you like their smells, definitely check out. This used to be one of my most favorite back in the days. You know, when I started oud, this was one of the first oud I tried. Then... I think, uh, <laughs> I, why do I lose track? 10, 9, 8, I guess. Yes, 8. Uh, today, I'm going to show you one fragrance, which is, uh, you can say, um, a reason why I'm not showing you this one, okay? This is one of my signature scents. Bottle is finished. I need to get it back up. So, Pakaraban Purom, basically green fragrance with the vanilla and all that. But if you like that, you can also try this if you can find somewhere. Bogart. Uh, signature or Bogart something. I don't know what this is called. I forgot the name. I think Bogart signature. Okay. So it is actually shape of a pen. When you take out the cap, it does look like a pen. And I don't know, for some reason, somewhere in Bangladesh, when I saw this, this was going for two, three hundred dollars. I don't know why. Bogart fragrance are not that expensive. This has a lot of, this has, sorry, this has a lot of hidden gems. This is one of them. Check it out. If you like oak moss, green, uh, masculine powerhouse fragrances, Bogart signature is definitely one of them. Number seven, then you hit top six. Number seven is this beautiful uh, Givenchy gentleman. And when people say Givenchy uh, uh, gentleman, you'll be like, do you mean the Givenchy gentleman only or Givenchy gentleman, the new line? No, this is the line before that, okay? So I don't have, again, a vintage. Vintage would have like the neck would be uh, silver. Check out Dan Norton's review. He has that vintage. This one is animalic leather and honey up top. Um, early days did not like it you know when i started trying for the first time this smelled not my cup of tea and uh, as my nose progressed got mature 
I loved it. So again, uh, in short, great fragrance. Givenchy, gentlemen. I think that's a 1970s release. Okay, number six. Let's go with a really wearable powerhouse fragrance, which I love. Hidden gem, definitely. Many people do not know about this. Oscar de la Renta, Pour Louis. Okay, this fragrance. If you love Kuros, if you like that, uh, like um, that fragrance, Van Cleef and Arpels, Pour Homme. Okay, fragrance like those. But if you want a little bit more wearable and a bit more smoother opening. This is definitely, definitely this one got the animalic touches as well, but much more handsome and gentlemanly. So this is more modern, okay? Take on Kuros, Pour Louis by Oscar de la Renta. Top five. I usually show Aramis for him. I have a lot of Aramis fragrances, but today I'm going to show you this as love, okay? Aramis Tobacco Reserve, okay? Same bottle as Aramis for him, but this one initially came out in green juice, if you remember. Now it got all dark and, you know, I just have a little bit juice left. <laughs> And I want to wear this, man, for upcoming winter. What a fragrance, man. If you want real cigar smell, real tobacco, hunt it down. It'll be worth your money. A genuine masterpiece. People forgot about it and got discontinued. So that's number five. I think number four. Let me show you another Bogart. Bogart, Purong. Finally, you know, I'm showing you this. This one, when I review, when I try, this one is so harsh in the opening. You know, sometimes when I tried it first time, I was like, what is this fragrance? Man, I cannot stomach it, you know. But if you let it develop on yourself, if you're wearing leather jacket in winter, colder months, this will remind you of your Havan Naxos-like fragrance. This one has a cherry tobacco, a little bit cheaper, definitely a little bit cheaper because it's a much cheaper fragrance. But if you want to get a taste of those fragrance, wait for the dry down of this fragrance. This is a masterpiece. This is a huge fragrance in the community. Absolute mad respect. Bogart Purong. Top three. Okay, now we reach top three. Some interesting fragrances. This next one, I do have ADP version, but I'm going to show you the ADT. This is also discontinued. Get it while you can. This is YSL Opium Purong. What a masterpiece, man. I took four years to understand this perfume, okay? Um, this one, I always forget. Is it Juniper Berry? Blackcurrant, one of those. Vanilla, and I think uh, that that spice. Man, why do I always forget that thing? That same thing note is in, uh, I think, uh, Leech, Lance and Guerlain. Let me get that note. Hold on. Yeah, that note, I, I don't know. For some reason, why, why I always forget. It's called Star Anise. It has a lot of pepper. Yes, blackcurrant, Star Anise, pepper, and bourbon vanilla, and then Tolu Balsam and some woody dry down. This is very medicinal up top. Okay, when you smell it for the first time, you'll think of menthol or something. Let it develop on your skin. It's so gorgeous in winter. This is why Slopium Purum. Uh, try to get older batches. That would be great. Okay. Number two, the king. Why is king number two? I'll show you why. Uh, this is my one of my signature scents called Kuros by YSL. And uh, Fragrance with Steven is the guy who got me hooked into this fragrance. I saw his review from the car, how he got, uh, uh, like, I think it's from Belgium. He got, like, a couple of vintage bottles of 50 ml with that metal plates up and here and here and that bottle got me really try kuros and when i tried it i was like my god <laughs> <coughs> this fragrance is the one of the most scary fragrance in the community people are scared of it i rocked it with a lot of confidence i sometimes wore like eight sprays okay just to make sh let let people know i'm wearing cologne okay dirty clean floral all those things urinal cake uh, you watch the reviews you'll see what i mean but if you can't wear this fragrance it will wear you okay keep that in mind so number one is actually the reason i was waiting for this fragrance i ordered it a few days back i had a bottle i sold it a long time back and i missed this one so what can beat the king you know it's not it's mutual respect two and one is basically a tie but today i'm going to show you number one is chanel's antiasporum this is the emperor <laughs> i just call them different names and uh, you many of you will be happy to see this fragrance made to many people these fragrances are very precious okay and these are all gem of fragrances but you have to be really into fragrances of this nature to appreciate them okay some of them are very affordable like chanel one is not uh, opium maybe not some of them are kind of uh, affordable but some of them are not so anthias basically you get like a leather dark um, like uh, i don't know something gods would wear you know like gladiators would wear um this is not for faint of hearts okay this is actually a very mature fragrance i find chanel's egoist and antheas and also puma sure for uh, mature gentlemen but today out of respect i'm showing you these two as two and one okay so do let me know which ones you like and if you like this video uh, check them out and which ones are your favorite have a nice day enjoy your winter see you soon Bye bye